minutes to say. Three? Okay. So, okay, I just wanted to kind of take the, you know, pulse of the room before I got started. Um, and now I don't know where to hit. Oh, right there. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. So, um, you met me earlier as Kelly, but on Instagram, I am the backyard tourist. Um, that's also the title of my blog. Um, I'm much more active on Instagram than I, than I um, was on Blogger, though, because I always have my phone in my pocket, and I'm always taking pictures. The character of my story, as always, is the Hegler Harris Mansion, because it's where I spend the majority of my time, um, and I also like to get shameless plugs in for the place I work every chance I get. Those of you who know me know this to be very, very true. We are hashtag Hegler Harris. Uh, so when you visit and you buy your little photo pass, you'll know the, how to, how to uh, talk to us. Um, as I mentioned earlier, our public image uh, when I came on board. We were spooky. People thought we were abandoned and often thought we looked like the Scooby-Doo house, and we did. Um, and the images that were on the internet were almost exclusively of the house looking like this. So my first year there, um, I started taking beautiful pictures of the house, and I polluted the internet with them. I was taking things every day. I was doing this on my own page. I had friends that I had talked into doing it. Um, by the way, anything with blue is going to have a 30% higher like rate on Instagram, so um, take pictures of blue things. Um, but our public image as historic sites, again, are we fun? We don't let people touch things. We're going to lecture them and make them you know, learn about history, and that's not always what they want to do. So we have to make this look like it's a lot more fun uh, or as much fun as we think it is. So we changed our public image online, started posting pictures that are family um, and that are friendly. You know, kids with ice cream and cotton candy on the lawn at the Hegler Harris Mansion, they're welcome. Um, they, you know, are having a good time. Th the same thing with the summer fun and the music. Um, our image was that we played Mozart and only Mozart um, and that we did lectures. But having pictures of the rock band, summer fun, hashtag summer fun, hashtag music, really helped to change our public image and made pe make people look at us in a very different way, made us think we were fun. And then, of course, we had to continue talking to the audience that we already had. And those are people who are into history and into preservation. Um, and uh, you know, we didn't want to stop talking to them while we were gaining these other audiences. Um, and they're all different audiences. The family audience versus the history audience is very different. Uh, we also started using infographics that we created ourselves. 429 million vacation days go unused annually. Take the day off and visit us today. It worked. People showed up. I use this one every couple of weeks. It's in rotation on um, our Facebook page. Um, oh, my things got goofed up there. Uh, moting, motivating people to give support. You know, having pictures of children, save the mansion for future generations. Um, that was another one that was very popular, and we've used that photograph all over the place. And again, as I mentioned, those are staged little people who are related to me, uh, which is why they're all blonde, and unfortunately, there's no redheads or brunettes. I wish we did have those in the family, but we don't. Um, capitalize on trends that are already there. Um, Mini Abe visited the house. You better believe I put that everywhere. Um, so hashtag Mini Abe, hashtag Enjoy Illinois. We were talking to audiences that were already there. And then we celebrate events that already exist. It's Women's History Month. Well, no, it's not anymore. It was Women's History Month. Um, so we use that. And then our 140th anniversary, which I mentioned um, in my earlier presentation, um, we created hashtags for that as well, and then we were speaking to the same audience. Um, we encouraged the visitors to take photos. Uh, we asked them to share them with us, and we retweet them, or we will repost them. And it's amazing how excited people get when you're reposting their pictures. I know how I get excited when the National Trust or when um, Enjoy Illinois reposts one of my pictures of the mansion. I'm really, really thrilled every day that happens. Um, we started doing a photo tour um, at the beginning of this year, and our engagement numbers have gone through the roof. The photos are native to Instagram, but they bounce over to our Facebook page, and it's been amazing. Um, we post fun as it happens. These are all fun events. The two on the end, on the side there, that was a concert where it started raining. People showed up because they saw that we were still there 
posting pictures of people drinking wine on the lawn in the rain. Um, and it worked well. We're connecting people with our artifacts. Um, this one was one of the earlier ones that I posted, um, and it had about 1,250 views. So it was, an early, it was in the early days. And this is a man repairing our um, um, enunciator box. This picture was done a week ago. As of last night, uh, 45,374 views. That's engagement, and that's a huge difference since January. Um, and that's our dining room floor. Um, again, if anyone wants to give me money, um, I'll use it right there. Um, <laughs> uh, community. We um, support the community. The blue light in our tower, uh, we had a, a local police officer and people as a fundraiser, they were putting blue, um, they, they were selling blue light bulbs and putting them in their um, outdoor areas. And we did it too and we posted and reminded people that we do care about the community. We give people a glimpse behind the scenes and that's hashtag Hegler Karis Insider. Some people still want to be part of an elite group that no one else is, and they want to get to do stuff no one else does, and they're willing to pay to do it. Um, so the Hegler Harris Insiders get special invitations to the house. So then I went online and pulled um, the I Am Canal, which is the hash one of the hashtags Anna wants us to use. So you can see um, what we have here uh, with the I Am Canal, and. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit, oh, Find Your Park was one from last year when uh, the national parks uh, were, were having their anniversary. Um, I wanted to talk about what a hashtag is and what it does is it actually helps to archive things and it makes it searchable. So all I did here was search hashtag Find Your Park and all of these pictures from everybody who took a picture of um, a national park last year or everybody who takes a picture of the Hegler Karras Mansion, uh, they all pop up and it just helps to categorize things and make them easy to find. My favorite shot right there is a 90-foot lift with our staff cleaning a part of, this, of the roof on the mansion. Mm -hmm. Really fun. Midwest Moment. Can anyone guess who owns Midwest Moment? They're people we all want to talk to. Midwest Living Magazine. And I get really, really excited when they repost my pictures because that means the Hegler Karras Mansion is in Midwest Living, or at least on their page. Enjoy Illinois is the Illinois Office of Tourism. Um, another one that they have a huge following and you absolutely want to be talking to them, um, following them, and uh, making sure that they know who you are, which is really fun. Um, oops, there it goes. The other thing, be kind to others. And I'm sorry my font got goofed between my computer and here. Um, these are all other museums and other local places that I frequent. And I take pictures. I think, is that Larry or Mo? Anna? I don't know. He was downtown LaSalle one Sunday afternoon. It and it was great. And it was so cool to be in a town where there was a mule, you know, just standing around on First Street. Um, so I took a picture and I posted it. And it had, it brought attention to my page, but also to yours. Um, and the other thing I recommend is share your stories for better or worse. If something bad happens at your historic site, Take a picture and share it. Um, like they were saying earlier today, when the man spilled his coffee during his presentation, everyone liked him more. You know, if you have a leak or a flood or whatever, horrible things happen at all of our sites, share it with people. Um, that may be the thing that will motivate them to give you new and different support. Thank you. <laughs>